Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Daniel Cross, and today I wanted to talk to you about Call of Duty Ghosts and the hidden weapon attachments, or the built-in weapon attachments, so to speak. Um, I'm going to let Joe from Infinity Ward kind of tell you a little bit about it. He kind of had an interview with Tina, one of the community managers. Go ahead and listen to this real quick, and then I'm going to chime in at the end and show you guys something interesting about the sniper rifles. This is Joe. Can you tell Hello. the fans what you do? I'm the multiplayer, well, one of the multiplayer designers, and I'm working on weapons specifically. What's your favorite weapon? My favorite weapon is the Honey Badger. It's and a new <laughs> assault rifle that we have. Um, it's default to silence. It's got a lot of kick, but really clean iron sights. It's fantastic. Why did you guys decide to put in a built-in silencer for that weapon? We wanted to have some of the weapons have um, kind of unique traits so that they essentially get like an extra attachment. So one of the things that we've done is give weapons, uh, three of the weapons have built-in silencers, so you don't have to add something to your barrel, you can spend that attachment on other things like a new scope or a new mod for your gun. Alright guys, so you actually heard what he was talking about there, and basically they added in attachments that are built into the gun, so you don't have to attach a silencer, it's already attached, it's not something that's going to subtract from your choices. Um, they did this with other things as well, and I wanted to go over them with you real quickly, and for the mo most part, um, there's two different things I wanted to go over with you. It's like, if you look at the screen right now, you can see the L15, and it has a bolt action. Deadly from the upper leg up, ballistic CPU calibrates recoil up to four kills. Uh, the bolt action on the USR, uh, deadly from the waist up, faster handling, ballistic CPU calib calibrates from the recoil up to four kills. So there is a difference between the weapons as far as one of them has a bonus of faster handling, but the CPU, I was wrong about that. The, the actual ballistic CPU device that is attached to the gun is not just cosmetic only. It's a built-in weapon attachment similar to the suppressor. Now, you can actually see that it says calibrates up to uh, recoil up to four kills. So I'm kind of curious as to how this is going to work. I know I played with it, but I really didn't notice. I guess what it's going to do is each time you get a kill, it's going to calibrate the recoil or the appropriate amount of recoil to have for your gun based on the kills that you get. Um, it's going to be an interesting attachment to have and something that kind of adds a little aspect to the game I never really thought about. Um, there is also a rumor going around that the suppressor is on the assault rifle honey badger we know that's for sure but there's a submachine gun and a silenced uh sniper rifle supposedly that it's built in with one of the four sniper rifles does have one and if you got kind of go from progress uh process of elimination it looks like it's going to be the uh semi-automatic vks um compared to the other sniper rifles because each one i've seen in gameplay so far does not have a suppressor on it that one might. It's something we have to look into a little bit further. Anyway, I just wanted to share this information with you guys. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys soon with some more videos. Take care.